Item 5B then is a um, report on lost it. the middle school services learning project. And this month I have Lisa Roos here, who's one of our eighth grade math teachers, and she's also the team leader of Team 8-1. And she brought with her Jenna Cepeda, who is um, involved in the Action Room activity to tell you about their project. Hi, good evening. When we were told that we had to do a service learning project at the beginning of the year, I kind of thought, oh great, is this going to be my project or is it going to be something that they take upon themselves? And I have just been blown away by the 12 kids that are in my action room. They've they've just made this their thing and they've um, taken responsibility every step of the way and they've just learned a lot from it and made it a really cool experience for all of us. So Jenna's going to tell you a little bit more about our project. This past fall, our 8th grade action room decided to help an orphanage in Mexico. Together we chose an orphanage and came up with the idea of selling ring pops for $1 each. We sold ring pops at middle and high school supporting, oh, excuse me, sporting events as well as conferences. We have raised $140 to buy soap, shampoo, toilet paper, sandals, and underwear for the kids at Casa de Elizabeth. Also, a, fen a friend of Mrs. Ruth donated hundreds of school supplies. We will disperse them among four orphanages in Mexico. Some will even be hand-delivered by the Kern family over spring break. Here are pictures of us sorting some of these supplies. When selling ring pops and sorting supplies for the kids, um, it makes me happy to know that we're helping people who are less fortunate than we are. Thank you. Awesome. Mr. Gorder wants to know why the ring pops missing on this one. <laughs> the, 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 the money that you raised um, to buy those supplies, did you do you buy them here or, or do you send them the money and they get the supplies there? What process do you use for getting those things to them? Do you have to pay them? Um, take a, a few students and myself and one day after school we'll go buy the supplies at Walmart and then um, we are working up with Cindy to get all the supplies sent to, to the orphanage down in Mexico. So we haven't done that step yet. We just yeah. finished raising our money last week. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you well, for having Congratulations. That's Thank wonderful. It, it's really refreshing to see how the kids can, can see the world around them and what they can do to help. And, and to really make it come to fruition. Oh, it's really great. And you did a very nice job with the presentation. It's not always easy standing up there no, talking no. to all of us, but you did a great job. <laughs> and it's wonderful to hear from the student. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys.